Tuesday morning. It's about 7.30. I'm running. It's a little bit late. I'm going to run. I've run to Detroit to Bell's Isle to do some media hot lap day for the Detroit Grand Prix. Um, I'm going to grab my stuff and head into the car. Alright, i got about an hour, 45 minutes left in this drive or 105 miles. Um, I got me a good old breakfast. Got a nice little cinnamon brown sugar morning snack. I don't know, they're Emily's. They were in my bag, so I had one. Because I didn't eat anything this morning. I'm definitely not feeling that great. I mean, like, I'm excited for this thing. But I don't... Probably would should have slept in. But, what are you going to do? Good opportunity. I'm going to go take it. I'm awake enough to drive. But, you can tell it's just... Uh, I don't... Just not... I didn't get enough sleep. what's happening I kind of have to use the bathroom but I think that's all nervousness hot lap day I'm just gonna keep on following these signs until I find something because I don't know I have no I have no idea all right morning media day hot lap day awesome button I'm on the track I don't know where I'm going <laughs> grandstand five holy crap all right follow the sign I'm following the sign going that way I don't want to be on this track thingy all right I think I'm off it now yeah Ooh, that was scary <laughs> Yes. Yep, just across the bridge to the orange guy and he'll give you directions All right. from there. Thank you. Guys, check this out. I'm going across the bridge thing. Good, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Alright. Let's give uh, Randy a call and we'll see what's happening. Guys, I like this is crazy. Got the gimbal all set up. I'm gonna film a little bit of that guy right there. Check out my main name tag. Show you guys that in a little bit, and I'm gonna do a little bit of filming right now, so I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, so here are some of the cars and drivers that are gonna be out here. I think it's cool. 
crazy. I've never actually seen an IndyCar like that in person, other than like at like a museum or something, but just out here. Um, they just sent the cars that we're gonna be riding in out on the track. There's like a little press conference going on inside. Uh, Jim Campbell with uh, Chevrolet General Motors joins us. Jim, you know, this is such a fabulous event for GM. In the shadow of uh, the World Headquarters and Renaissance Center, what does this event mean for Chevrolet to bring it back to the world? Well, I think you cover a lot of it in it for us. Uh... And then we get to ride. I'm not sure when, but I'm definitely gonna film it. So this is pretty crazy. I don't know. I'm probably overreacting a little bit. I don't even know. I'm filming today for the media day and then next weekend, or no, um, this coming weekend, so in two days going to the UP with John and then two days after that going to, or the weekend after that, going to do this actual event. So here comes the cars, back, cars are coming back right now. So we'll see in a minute. All right, guys, so we're going waiting to get in the car. It's taking one of the Cadillacs out. Oh, he fell off my helmet, so I'm not gonna try to put it back on. I'm just gonna hold it and see what we get here. I might have the audio recorder and the spectacles going, so it should be interesting. All right, guys, I'm editing the uh, Grand Prix video as you, that you guys are watching right now. Um, I'm about to get into the uh, Cadillac, my first time riding on the track, and I'm going to leave the whole clip raw, audio and everything. Um, it's about a two and a half minute clip, maybe three minutes, but I want you guys to kind of see my experience riding in the, you know, the car with the F1 driver for the first time without cutting it up at all. I kind of switch back and forth from the track, back to me, back to the track. Um, I'm going to do that twice in this video, once for my first time riding in the Cadillac and the second time riding in the back of the car. So uh, I know it's going to make this video a little longer, but I think um, you guys will enjoy seeing that. So enjoy the first ride and then in a little bit I'm gonna have the second ride. Alright. Here we go. Here we go.
like it. It's fun for the first time. Yeah. What's the fastest you hit on the street? 120. 120? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. It's about as fast as we can go here with that, this car. Oh, yeah. What's the fastest you hit in the end, like, near your car? Well, it's uh, probably around 155. That's crazy. That's awesome. That's pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. Thank you. Took a quick break to eat some lunch. I think the cars are gonna go hot again in a minute. Um, I'm not really sure how long I'm here for, so I'm just kind of filming stuff until I decide I have good enough stuff, or I'm told I have to leave, or I don't even know. But might as well take advantage of it while I'm here. So we'll see what's happening next. Standing at one of the turns, the only one we can get to today. Um, doing a little bit of filming through the gate as the guys come around here. And this is also where they enter, right on the other side of these stands, they go that way. Um, so all four of them just went out. Four of them are gonna be coming through here in just a minute. And I think I can hear them, here we go. They're gonna be coming up here behind me, right about here. I'll just walk this way. Here comes another one. Guys, <laughs> ready to go in the catwalk for the first time. Going in the SS this time, the Chevy. So we'll see. We're gonna wait for Eric to get out.
Thank you. All right, thanks. Hope you enjoy it, right? Thank you. Alright guys, you're probably a little close to my face, but it happens. <laughs> I'm holding you on my tripod while pulling all my stuff, so. Um, I'm on my way out of here. Um, might go meet up with John. I do have a call, I'm not really sure yet. And from there, gonna head home. I might even just head home quickly. John got a new car, so I might go check it out. Uh, but if he's busy, I'm just gonna head home. So then the two hours drive back. Uh yeah, that was that the day. I mean it was awesome. It was an experience that I've never had before. So it was cool to really experience the track and shooting the cars and just looking forward to doing the actual event in two weeks. I'm not really I don't know what to expect, but all I know is I gotta do my regular thing and just shoot. Hopefully like what they see, so. This is the bass. I know I showed you guys earlier, but just showing you the exact of what it looks like. I know I'm like way over the top on like this excitement thing, but this is like something that I've never done before. Like I've worked car shows, I've worked, you know, events and like concerts and things, but this is, I don't know, this Detroit Grand Prix seems like such a bigger deal to me. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. So if I'm like seem a little over the top, it's just because it's it's new to me. So yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what John's doing. All right, guys. Update. Made it about 15 minutes outside of Detroit, not even, and got stuck in a uh, got stuck in traffic. I guess there's a car accident. It's putting me back about 13 minutes. You guys can see that. See 13. So, so yeah, um, there's really no other way unless I want to go like 20 minutes out of my way, which, I mean, doesn't really matter. I don't know, I'm just going to sit and wait and see, hopefully we can get through this pretty quickly. I mean, people are crazy. One, two, three, four, five lane highway and the two lanes that I need to go back to Grand Rapids are the two that are clogged up so now we just play the waiting game and hopefully it doesn't take too long to traffic jam in Detroit now I'm in traffic in Grand Rapids I just can't get a break morning was too good and now this afternoon is just not doing it guys there's a Tesla Model X in front of me I want a Tesla so bad. 
I'll take a Model X. I'll take any Tesla as long as I can have it. Let's look at it. Tesla. That's all I want. The Tesla, you know what to do. My contact information is on my page. And I'll be looking for an email soon.